Hello viewers, welcome to Ultimate Gaming Guide. Welcome to another computer upgrade tutorial. This time it is the Lenovo M700. So there are different versions of Lenovo M700, but the version that I'm talking about, this wider mid tower version that you can upgrade and put a GPU in there. Uh, before going into any of the detail, let's look at the specs. This is one of the computer that you that's come with DDR4. This is one of the early DDR4 uh, computers. But uh, but these days you can find this computer for very cheap. Uh, I got mine for only $50. It comes with the Core i5-6500 uh, and only 8 GB DDR4 RAM. And it's got a two gigabyte, two terabyte of hard drive, no GPU, just an iGPU. And it comes with, I believe, 300 to 350 watt power supply. And it's a, like a Lenovo proprietary type of power supply. Instead of a 24 pin on the motherboard, it only got like 10 pin. So that's one of the problems that I, we have to fix. Okay, uh, so first order of business. Uh, once you get these computers from uh, like a eBay or any other third party website, you'll most likely not get the hard drive uh, or hard drive would be completely erased. So to get better performance, you need to get an SSD drive. Uh, get in like a 2.5 inch SATA SSD from Amazon or eBay or any other website that you're comfortable with and uh, discard that old HDD or hard drive. And uh, you can install Windows 10 uh, using an uh, USB uh, Win Windows 10 installation media. All you got to do is download two software. One is Rufus and download Windows 10 ISO from Microsoft website. So all you got to do then uh, create a bootable USB drive uh, using the Windows 10 ISO and you would be able to install it. And when it asks for uh, like a key, Hey, uh, do you want to provide just just so like I don't have a key, but uh, when you uh, get into the internet, uh, the your Windows copy will be automatically activated because uh, this computer already comes with uh, Windows 10. Uh, but make sure you install the correct version. Like this computer, I believe comes with Windows 10 Home, so don't install Windows 10 Pro. When install Windows if it comes with Windows 10. Home, install Windows 10 Home, so that way it will be automatically activated when you're online. So you don't have to pay for a key. So that's one of the good advantage. So after the SSD upgrade, uh, you will notice night and day difference. Uh, it will be up and running. So now it's time for a uh, RAM upgrade. So this supports DDR4 RAM, but there is only two RAM slots. And uh, these are one of the early DDR4 RAMs. It only goes up to 2133 megahertz. So don't use, waste your money buying any expensive RAMs. So just get uh, the Samsung's, I believe these are U, UA111-11. UA just search for like DDR4 2133 megahertz uh, desktop RAM, okay? Uh, and uh, get whatever brand HP, Lenovo or Samsung, uh, as long as it's like uh, 2133, because even if you put higher, uh, faster RAM in there, it's not gonna work any faster. It, it can only run up to 2133. So since it has only two slots, you will need to get two 8 GB, 2133 megahertz RAM, and you should be good to go. Uh, 16 gig RAM, still pretty standard, still pretty good. And now for the power supply upgrade. So power supply upgrade, it should depend on your uh, GPU. So if you want to put it like a, it's it's going to be hard to put a GPU, a bigger GPU on in this case, because this is there are some like a um, grill at the front. You cannot put a like a very big GPU in there. So there is no point uh, putting an expensive um you know, power supply in there because you're only going to be able to put in like a 1650 or RX 580, 2048, those kind of smaller size GPU. So you can get away with using a cheap power supply, but I would still recommend getting an 80 plus certified uh, power supply. But whatever power supply that you get, uh, make sure you get a, like a, you have to get a 24 pin to 10 pin adapter 
because this motherboard can only use that 10 pin. So and another thing I would recommend uh, getting a power supply that is that has a, like a bottom opening like this. Uh, so it would be able to like suck the air out of the um, uh, of the like whatever the air this uh, you know this computer has has no uh, bottom opening I mean the side opening and the power supply is on the top so whatever the heat uh, the CPU is producing uh, the power supply would be able to suck it uh, in and uh, blow it out through the back if you have a, like a bottom opening power supply. So that's what I would recommend. So whatever power supply you get, 400 watt, 500 watt, 350 watt, just get like a, that has a bottom opening. It'd be uh, good with like a heat issues. Okay, and as for the GPU upgrade, this is the GPU that I use. This is an AliExpress GPU. Uh, its name is Soil. This is an 8GB RX 580 2048 SP. This is kind of a, like a, a underclocked version of RX original RX 580. So uh, it's not super powerful, not as powerful as the RX 580, but it's pretty good. It's not that bad. And another uh, uh, GPU choice is 1650 Super and 1650 Ti. I would really uh, suggest to get a, like a 1650 Super. Those are really good. And uh, and if you are planning to, if you if you got a, like a bigger power supply that has a like a you know or a more powerful power supply, like a 500 watt power supply or 450 watt power supply that has a, like a eight pin PCIe connector, you can put a like a 1660 Ti or 1660 Super and uh, and if you get a power supply that has no power, no six pin or eight pin PCIe connector, you can get it like a 1050 Ti. But uh, even with the okay type of power supply, you can get this type of SATA to PCIe six pin cable. That's what I did. So I just uh, I had a, like a cheap power supply, then I used a uh, SATA to six pin um, power connector, PCIe power connector, and I used the RX 580 2048. I had no issues. And as for the CPU upgrade, it's not really necessary. Uh, it already came with a decent CPU, Core i5-6400. But if you have the budget, you can go for Core i7-6700. I believe these are still pretty expensive. And another thing, thing you can try is the Xeon E3-1270 uh, V5. So this is the same architecture, Skylake. This, this motherboard CPU codename is Skylake. So, uh, and this is this Xeon E3-1270 is also a Skylake CPU, so it might work. I haven't tested it in this computer. I tested it in one of the earlier uh, uh, version one, 1270 version one, and that works. So it might work uh, on this computer also. But uh, like I said, a CPU upgrade is not necessary. And this is the internal looks like. Uh, I did not have two 16 gig. I had one 8 gig and one 4 gig. So I still achieved the dual channel. Uh, but I had 12 GB RAM and I was able to fit uh, the RX 580. Uh, this is a pretty small GPU. Uh, this is not the original RX 580, RX 580 2048. And I got away with the just in a 350 watt power supply, and uh, see, I was able to power it up uh, with uh, using the PCIe six pin uh, SATA to PCIe uh, six pin cable. Uh, and as for the performance, as you can see, my graphics score was 3,630, and my CPU score was 2,949. Uh, so. Like I said, uh, this should be good. And it, as you can see, the time spire give me a good rating. So you should be able to play your popular titles with this score. And after doing a Nova Bench score, that's another software that I use. Uh, as you can see, your CPU score is 429, uh, GPU score 268. That's pretty decent. Uh, memory score 234. Storage score 81 with a 480 gig SSD. So, uh, like I said, and I 
as for the gaming performance, this is the, I was not able to find any data for uh, gaming performance on RX 580 2048, but it is t about 10% slower than the original RX 580. So this is the gaming performance you would expect just uh, uh, for instance, uh, CSGO with the RX 580, it can do 252. So with the 10% slower, you could probably expect 230 FPS. GTA 5 about 55 FPS or Fortnite 75 FPS all in 1080p and as for some of the special consideration uh, this uh, case if you're using the original case you might have some airflow issues uh, because uh, as you can see, so I would suggest you to break these two plates at the um, where you have the PCI Express slots Break these two uh, plates so you have a little bit of um, the hot air from the GPU can escape. And if you can, drill some holes uh, at the bottom. But whenever you are drilling holes, make sure you take everything out. Because uh, the residue from the drilling could uh, damage your uh, motherboard components. And to drill out, you need to use a, like a hole opening or this like brad tip drill. So, so then you would get like a nicer uh, opening like this. And if you do wanna upgrade the case, you can. Uh, but uh, Lenovo has, like I said, a proprietary type of uh, front panel connector. So that way you need to get this uh, Lenovo power switch adapter cable from AliExpress. It's only 99 cents. Uh, very easy to get to and it will work if you wanna do a like a case upgrade then you have a lot more options then you will be able to get like better airflow and you would be able to fit bigger gpus in there so that's one thing to consider and that's my total expense summary that i spent uh my, i got the m700 tower for 50 dollars gpu i bought from aliexpress 50 dollars ssd 480 gigabyte it was $30 power supply was $20 I actually did not spend any money I had a power supply laying around uh, 350 watt I used it and it worked and uh, but this is what we would expect to spend for a power supply but try to get a power supply that had that already has a PCI Express 6 pin or 8 pin and as for the RAM, I used uh, 20, I spent $20 for 216, 28 gig sticks at 2133 megahertz. And for the uh, SATA 2 PCIe cable, I spent five bucks. So my total expense summary was 175. So um, it's just not too bad. It's not too expensive. Still a, still a pretty decent gaming computer. Um, and that's my final verdict. So this is a little bit of modern. Uh, this is an early DDR4 technology, uh, but it's still not much better than the uh, old DDR3. So, so it's, it's it's just a little bit faster. So you can get, like I said, you can get similar performance from a cheaper uh, PC like a Dell uh, 30. 3020 like a uh, cheaper ddr3 pc you can probably get those for like 20 25 dollars and you and and you can get similar performance from those machines just add the gpu in there and it would work the same uh and this is still a solid 1080p gaming machine this might not be worth it for some people because of uh you know all those drillings that you have to do uh, for better airflow or you know it's uh, might be still a little expensive for some people but you do get a free windows 10 license that is attached to the hardware so that's a plus so i hope all this information was helpful to you um, be sure to like and subscribe and if you have any questions uh, be sure to put it on the comment section and i would try my best to answer those questions uh, thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great day.